hello everyone so in this video you will learn that how you can convert your nucleotide sequence into the protein sequence means how you can predict the protein structure or protein sequence formed by your given nucleotide sequence which is just known as the translation so for this we use a resource which is known as xpsy so just to open the xpsy open your browser and just write here expasy that is xpsy and this is a website that is xpsy.org just click here now this is a very important resource or tool which contain many other tools like this is the home page of this xpsy resource and you can see that the loads of options are there and these are the domains means if you want to work on the genome then you click on the genomics if you want to work in the protein domain then you have to click here proteins so as we want to translate our given sequence into the protein sequence so just click here protein now in this window in this side the right hand side all the tools which are used for the or you can which are used in the field of proteomics that are just in front of you from here we have to select the translate option this is the translate tool so it translate your nucleotide sequence to the protein sequence just click here as you click here now click the browse resource website so it will bring you to website so this this is the expressy translate tool now in this box you have to enter the sequence of dna or rna for which you want to know that what will be the sequence of protein made by this sequence so just for a demo purpose i have already downloaded a sequence from ncbi so just copy this sequence you can take whatever the sequence you have if you are doing research so you may either get the sequence by sequencing through literature so by which way you just get the sequence copy the sequence and just paste here now these output options are like first is verbose what it says that it will don, uh, donate the amino acid by three letter code like mt that is for methionine similarly if the valine there so it will be shown by val that is valine so it will use the three letter code classification of amino acid and stop codon will be denoted as stop second is compact here m is for the methionine means it will use single letter code for the amino acids and the stop codon will be denoted by this bar which i just highlighted to show you so stop codon will be denoted by bar and the amino acid will be denoted by the single letter code you can also include the nucleotide sequence if you want and you can also include without spaces also so i'm just keeping this setting on the compact that the nucleo uh, this uh, nucleotides will be converted to amino acid but the amino acid will be displayed or denoted by the single letter code now you have two options forward and reverse so as you know dna has two strands one is forward other reverse so keep these both options check but if you have rna so you can use either one of them next this genetic code so you have to select which kind of genetic code you want to use so standard which is applicable in all because as we know the genetic code is universal but there is some uh, basic difference or some small differences among the other organisms so i am just taking this standard code because it is apply to all the organism in the standard manner now just choosing all these settings just click here translate if you just did any mistake so you can reset it by clicking here but if everything is fine so just click here translate option as you click on the translate option now the results are just in front of us so now you can see that the sequence given by us can make these six kind of proteins this is frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 which is read from 5 dash to 3 dash direction frame 1 frame 2 3 and it can also be read that is 3 dash to 5 dash direction frame 1 2 and 3 means it just give you six possible protein sequences which can be formed by this sequence which was just given by us now the main thing is that which sequence should be chosen for the research work or which sequence should be you can say believe that this protein is going to be work 
so in this first of all how to read this sequence so these are the amino acid and as i choose the compact that is single letter code so each amino acid is donated by a single letter like that is v for valine and this m is for methionine so as you know methionine is the uh, you can say it is the initiation codon so it is start from this m methionine and now this bar is for stop codon so this protein will made from here to here the portion which is selected in this light pink or red color so this will be the sequence of protein and in the second frame protein may either be formed from this like first is methionine and this is stop codon second it can also start from here and again this is stop codon now these are possible configuration but which one you have to choose so just to choose generally the sequence which have maximum length so you can see out of these six frames which one has maximum length of protein so this first one because as you can see it is starting from here and ends up here so typically it just taking the complete sequence so this protein will definitely work so for the research purpose if you want to take one of them then you have to choose that one which have initiation codon which have stop codon and which cover the maximum query length or you can say which have the maximum sequence cover but keep in mind this protein sequence it must have initiation codon like all of these have the this m which is dark red methionine and it must have the stop codon which is represented in the form of this hyphen or bar so you can choose that sequence which have the maximum length out of these six so by this way you can translate your sequence into the possible protein that what protein it will make and what will be the sequence of that protein so it is sometime also you can say it is a you can say it is a protein predictive method so this is all about that how you can use this expressi translate to translate your nucleotide sequence into the protein sequence so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much